Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from cats.com where we're all about cats and this is my co-host Gordon and this video is all about the two of us. We know there's been some questions about who we are, why we're here, and hopefully this video will help answer some of those questions and just be a little intro to the two of us so the next time we pop on your screen you know a little bit about us. So let's get into it. So first for a little bit about myself. So I am 31 years old and let's see, I am married, I've been married. Fun fact, today is actually my five year wedding anniversary. So I've been married exactly five years, which is very exciting. Uh, we'll definitely be celebrating later. And this is where I live, the beautiful city of Chicago. If you've never visited, you definitely should. My husband and I adopted Gordon about six years ago, right after we got engaged actually, is when we went to the animal shelter to adopt a cat. And that is where we found the lovely Gordon. So let's introduce you to him. When we first saw Gordon in the shelter, we pretty much fell in love with him immediately. He's just such a loving, affectionate cat. We basically just felt an instant connection with him. Um, that being said, we were pretty nervous when we adopted him as well because Gordon is FIV positive and my husband and I, neither of us have really any experience with an FIV positive cat. So we were pretty nervous about what it would entail, what he would need in terms of uh, medical support and things like that. And in the early years of having him, he definitely has had his fair share of medical struggles related to his FIV. It may be hard to believe looking at him now, but when we first adopted him, he was underweight, he had a lot of dental issues. Since then, he's had quite a few of his teeth pulled. Um, I think he actually had Giardia um, when we first adopted him and we didn't know until we got him checked out at the vet. So he's definitely had quite a few um, challenges regarding his health, but knock on wood, he is doing pretty well now, but I definitely cherish all my time with him because at this point he is a senior cat with FIV and you know, that's not necessarily like great things in his favor in terms of his health, but we definitely try to keep him as healthy as possible. And it's something that I really care a lot about. So hopefully I can keep digging in and learning more about how to keep him healthy and share that with you. Outside of YouTube, I work as a professional data scientist. I've been in analytics or data science for basically my entire career. So I work a lot on experimentation, data analysis, um, all type of things like that. I do a lot of number crunching and it's something I really enjoy doing. Um, so I hope I'll be able to bring some of that side of myself to the channel as well. Also, another thing about me is I love crafty hobbies. I love to knit, I love to crochet. I think this is partially a symptom of being in Chicago where it does get quite cold, where I just wanna make myself cuddly blankets and sweaters and things. So last winter, I uh, crocheted myself this blanket. Um, I recently finished knitting this sweater. Um, I love just being able to do something uh, with my hands and just having like a physical hobby I absolutely love. You can probably see see my yarn wall back behind me, which I do need to keep a little bit off the ground because let me just say, I feel like Gordon likes when I knit just as much as I do, if not more. So that's why it's up there. But yeah, I absolutely love really anything crafty is one of my favorite hobbies. Another hobby that I've gotten into recently is running. So I never have really been that athletic. I I always would try to get out of gym class. I have very bad hand-eye coordination. So any sort of like sport that involves like other people is usually not something that I do very well at. Uh, however, a few years ago, one of my like mutual friends at a party was saying, oh, she was training for a half marathon. And I think I just offhandedly mentioned, oh, I've always wanted to do that. I think that would be cool to sort of train for it. And she was like, oh, Sarah, you should join and do this half marathon. And I was like, okay. And so I pretty much signed up right on the spot, not really thinking too much about what I was doing. Um, so I signed up for the half marathon. However, probably halfway through the training, my friend actually had to drop out of the training um, for some personal issues. And by that point, I was just, I was so far along. I was like, I am doing that half marathon. So I ended up doing my first half marathon a few years ago, and I've been kind of hooked into the running community ever since then. I like to be able to get outside and sort of just be active. Um, so I actually finished my first marathon last year. I ran the 2023 Chicago marathon. Here's my finisher medal. I'm so proud of it. 
Cats.com is expanding their pool of creators. There will be um, some other people joining and I hope you can kind of welcome us and uh, we can join the community as well. Now I want to address the elephant in the room of how Gordon and I ended up on this channel because trust me, I have read the comments. I have seen the concern and the surprise of seeing some new faces on this channel. So I wanna do my best, at least from my perspective, to explain how we got here and sort of how we ended up on this channel. So just for some background, uh, I have been on YouTube personally for almost 10 years now, primarily making product review content on my own channels. And throughout my YouTube journey, I've actually worked with Mallory before. So back in around the 2020 timeframe, Mallory invited me to work on a different channel, um, working on some product review content specifically for cat products and work with her on that channel um, as a content creator. And I was really excited to do that. I had never worked with a different channel before and I was excited to sort of branch out and expand my horizons a little bit um, working with her. And I had a great time doing that. I learned a ton from her. I think she put so much attention to detail and care into her videos and I had a great time working on that channel. That being said, I did need to put a pause on it after a while just because at that point in my life, I was moving across the country. I was starting a new job and I just didn't have the, the time to devote as much as I would need to, to really do a good job on that channel. So at that point I put a pause on it. And so I've just been working on my own channels for the past few years. Um, however, back in fall of 2023, so last year around six months ago, Mallory reached out to me again and asked me if I would join her once again, working with her on cats.com. And essentially she explained that they were expanding the channel, hoping to bring in some new content creators and just expand uh, the pool of who is making videos. Um, and I was super excited to do that because at that point I had um, some more free time. I was really excited to sort of dive into a new project. And so I have been working with Mallory and with the caps.com team since uh, the fall of last year, sort of onboarding to the channel, uh, setting up sort of my plans for my first few videos. And Mallory has been instrumental in onboarding me, giving me feedback on my early videos and helping me make my videos as good and helpful as possible. And again, I've learned so much from her and I hope to be able to make the same kind of high quality content that she's making and uh, just continue to improve with every single video. So if you have any topic ideas or improvement ideas or anything like that, definitely let me know down in the comments. I will be sure to read those and do my best to incorporate those into the future videos. So I hope this video helps you learn a little bit more about the two of us and until next time, Bye.